Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be letting ChatGPT control what I do in Greenville. Anyways, if you do end up enjoying today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button for an AI. Trust me, it works. Anyways, now let's head over to ChatGPT and ask our first question. Alrighty guys, so we are now on ChatGPT and basically here are all the questions I'm going to be asking this AI. And as you can see, there's quite a bit. So firstly, let's actually go ahead and ask ChatGPT, what is Greenville Roblox or Roblox Greenville. Let's see if ChatGPT even knows what Greenville Roblox even is. Greenville and Roblox is a popular open world driving and role playing game developed by a user or group of users within the Roblox platform. It is set in a fictional town called Greenville and aims to provide a realistic driving and live simulation experience. But yeah, that's basically a rundown. That's our first question here. Of course, we do need to ask that before we even get into anything related to Greenville. Alrighty, guys, so now let's actually go ahead and ask. Does ChatGPT know me? Let's go ahead and ask it. I apologize for my knowledge cut off in September 2021. I do not have any specific information about the YouTuber named in the series. Dang. Anyways, now moving on to our next question, which happens to be the customization option. We have what car should I drive? What color for the car? And choose a license plate for the car. Pick a random car for me to drive. How about the Tesla Model 3? Nice choice of a car. Let's actually go ahead and buy that i might even already have it let's actually go and check this out Alrighty, guys so we have now just purchased my tesla model 3 let's actually go and check it out of course we're going to be doing some other modifications with the car of course anyways here is the tesla model 3 an amazing car i'm actually glad ChatGPT actually picked this car because loki it's really really nice anyways now i think it's time to ask ChatGPT what colors should i paint my car for the tesla model 3 in greenville how about a midnight silver metallic color Alrighty, guys so we are now arriving in the paint shop uh let's see here all right guys so i believe i found the color uh please correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but overall i feel like this is the color right here overall not a bad choice i was just talking about a great color and overall this is actually really really cool for a tesla now our final customization for the car is to pick the state for the plate i'm also going to ask ChatGPT to pick a custom number plate so let's actually go ahead and do that right now for the license plate of the tesla model 3 in greenville let's go with the state of california nice choice so let's actually go ahead and ask for a plate number electric i have no idea if i can put that on the plate but i'm gonna try my best Alrighty, guys so let's actually go ahead and do this right now so we're going inside of here we're gonna be getting a california plate low-key the california plate looks very very nice i like it but yeah we're gonna pick i'm just gonna go for the basic one we're just gonna go for the first one. Oh, i can't type anyways our plate happens to be electric Alrighty, that's close enough we only missed one letter but that's just gonna have to work we're gonna have to change it for ten thousand dollars that is absolutely crazy for a plate change that's crazy anyways the ai has fully customized the car we got a custom color we got a custom plate and yeah uh i'm gonna go broke so thank you chat gpt anyways to be honest i'm gonna give it like a 8 out of 10 i love the gray on the car it looks amazing so that's definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. The color on the car looks amazing. ChatGPT is overall doing amazing so far. And a California plate just makes it a lot better. Anyways, now let's actually go ahead and ask our next question. Alrighty, guys. So the next question we have here happens to be some random questions I came up with. Anyways, the first question I have here happens to be, should I leak the Greenville update? Let's actually go and see if ChatGPT agrees or disagrees. Answer question, please. Yes or no. No. Okay, guys. So I will not be leaking the Greenville update. Day. and to be completely honest i have nothing to leak for the gb update anyways let's ask our next question should i break a law i doubt chat gbt is going to allow me to do this i'm aware of the consequences Alrighty, guys so i'm gonna ask chat gbt to pick a random law Let's see what they pick. It is illegal to operate a motor vehicle under the influence or alcohol or drugs. How am I going to drive under the influence in Greenville? Alrighty guys, so the next question I have here happens to be, should I roleplay a yes or no question again? Okay, I do not need to know the details of roleplaying, just a yes or no question. Yes or no yes alrighty guys so we are now back in Greenville and we're going to roleplay. So right here I'm using my turn signal and I've already failed. Anyways, now continuing, we're gonna just ignore that, but as you can see, I am driving down the road. I have no idea what the speed is on this road, but I'm technically roleplaying and basically doing everything I need to when roleplaying. I'm using my blinker, so we are now headed over here. I'm gonna yield, make sure no one's coming. 
and take the right. And like that, I am role playing. Let's take this turn, almost hit the curb, and hit the side. Whoops. We're currently doing 50 miles an hour, and now we're going 55, aka the speed limit, so technically we are roleplaying right now. Now, let's move on to our next question. The next question I have here happens to be, should I join a public server? Just a simple yes or no question. Do not give me the details of a public server. Oh my god, bro. Yes or no? Let's see here. Yes. Okay. So now, I'll see you guys once I've joined a public server. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are now in a public server and it's currently raining, whoa. So as you can see, we are currently in a public server. No way, it's Batman. Now let's move on to our next question. Should I become a police officer? I'm not gonna ask the question, I'm just gonna ask yes or no. Alrighty guys, so ChatGPT just said yes, so now we are actually going to go ahead and roleplay as a police officer. Alrighty guys, so we are now a police officer in Greenville, we're actually going to go ahead and put on my hat, or helmet, and we're also going to put on my outfit. We're going to be a captain today, why not? And yeah, there we go, we are now officially a police officer in Greenville, and I've actually already bought a car, so now let's actually head out and patrol the area until we can find someone to pull over. I'm probably just going to pull over someone random. Alrighty guys, so here is my police car. It looks pretty cool. Anyways, now we are headed out. The rain makes the police car look so nice. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so the first person I see, I'm gonna pull over, so let's do that. Oh, we got our first car right here. Uh, you're going to jail. He's technically speeding, so I'm definitely gonna have to get him for speeding. Alrighty, he crashed, he crashed. And at Honda Accord, and he left the game. Oh, no, he responded. Why is my gun not loading? Stop car. Where are you going? Where are you going? Pull over. I'm gonna put police tape on your car, because why not? Okay, there we go. How dare you be speeding? Oh, where'd they go? Oh, anyways, next question. Should I race somebody? Let's see what ChatGPT has to say. Of course, it's gonna give me a big detail about why I shouldn't race. Yes, okay, we're going to race somebody in my amazing Tesla. ABC4 race. Let's see. Let's see if they want to race. I don't think they want to race. Okay, you want to cut me off. Wow, so rude. And you want to break tech me. Wow. Alrighty guys, so we have found somebody who wants to race. So let's actually head back to the dealership and go ahead and start our race. And let me know in the comment section down below, who do you think will win this race? I mean, I think I have a good shot at winning, but I could be completely wrong. It depends what car they have and what car I have. Already pulling into the dealership right now. That was such an amazing turn. Okay, so we have the Nissan Skyline. Okay, sure. Let's go to the airport. Alrighty guys, so we are now arriving at the airport right here. And we're going to see who wins this race. Let me know your guys' predictions in the comments down below. And yeah, whoa, nice flip. Alrighty, let's do three, two, one, go. No way! I just lost. I thought my Tesla would beat them. So yeah, um, I I thought I had a good shot of winning that race, but I was completely wrong. But yeah, shout out to the Nissan Skyline that won that race. Definitely a pretty cool car. I didn't know it was that fast, but yeah, now we're gonna move on to our next question. Alrighty guys, so the next thing we have here happens to be, should I play Greenville upside down? They've been saying yes for a long time now, but anyways, now I'm gonna go ahead and start playing Greenville upside down. Alrighty guys, so my camera is now flipped i don't know why am i recording it shows that i'm playing normally but i am currently flipped i might flip the video but i'm not really 100 sure but yeah right now i'm currently playing greenville upside down and yeah it's very interesting and if you do want to see a full video of me playing greenville upside down i will put a video card in the right side of your screen check out the video for a full entire video of me playing greenville upside down anyways let's ask our next question should i play greenville sideways can you say yes or no yes Yes. Alrighty guys, so I'm currently now playing Greenville in sideways mode, and if you want to see a full video,
video of me playing Greenville in sideways mode, I will put a video card in the right side of your screen. Check out that video for a full entire video on me playing sideways. But anyways, let's ask my next question. Alrighty guys, so the next thing we have here happens to be give me a dare to do on Roblox. Let's see what ChatGPT has for us. Dress up your character in the most outrageous and mismatched outfit you can come up with. We can do that. Alrighty guys, so I have just updated my avatar and now let's see what I've come up with. Reset my character here and let's see the reveal of my new character. What the heck? It's it's not bad. It's not terrible. Let's see how people like my avatar. It's probably like one of the best avatars. So let's see. 10 out of 10. Let's go. So yeah, I guess Dare completed. A pretty cool Dare. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. How do you think of my brand new avatar? So now let's ask ChatGPT for another number to pick from 1 to 45. 14. Let's do that right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. My Mitsubishi. I'm gonna have to sell it. I have not drove this car in a while. I don't mind selling it. I can just get it back. Let's actually go and sell that right now. Only gonna get $22,000 from this sale. Kind of lame, but let's actually go ahead and sell this car right now now i got seventy thousand dollars in greenville now let's go all right guys so now i'm gonna ask should you guys the viewers subscribe to the channel let's see yes or no question yes all right you guys so everybody watching right now is going to have to hit that subscribe button and the final question i have here happens to be should i end the video let's see yes or no should i end the video yes yeah let's head back into greenville and end off this video but yeah guys that's really gonna wrap up today's video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and smash that like button for an ai trust me it works so if you do want to see another part where an ai aka chat gpt controls me let me know in the comment section down below but yeah that really happens to be it hope you guys enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one